So this is what we found for $20. It's a fire iron holster. Um, it's more so for the full size 5906, but the holster itself isn't as big or as long as you think it would be for a safari land. Um, we got going on here. Well, these are missing right here. These things are digging in your belt. It actually fits pretty well on my core belt, believe it or not, when I do open carry off property. This is a shank from another holster. Um, this is from, um, I'll put a picture of it up here. Um, still a full size 59406. 5946. It's hard to find duty holsters for the um these would definitely be considered compact guns. Um because these were not guns that weren't usually typically on a duty belt. Um that's why I think my grandfather carried it in a slightly bigger holster like the one I just pictured there. So it needs these things in here. I'm gonna take them from here and put them in here. And it needs um these to be cleaned here. And in the snaps here, which is common because they kind of oxidize or get rusty, so to speak, um, for being on duty. The usual pulling up here, I'm not going to really mess with that. Um, I don't think this will fit this exact for a third um, level three holster. I, you have to find a number for this on, e on eBay. Um, or on uh, an old Safari Land catalog, so I have to find exactly for 20 bucks at the gun show, though. What are the odds? Um, the only other solution I can think of would be get to actually get a 5906, which I really regret not getting one of those in 2010. Of course, they're around 400 bucks with inflation. That was 10 years ago, they're probably the same price almost. And just clean this up, we're going to use um. Our gloves, of course, we use WD-40 and scotch bright pad. And we'll get back to you on this. And we're going to try and make some adjustments to the Allen screws here. May make it a little tighter. Um, it doesn't really grip this gun as well as you as it should. For, for our purposes, for retention, it's fine for the average person. But for level three duty retention, um, you'd have to get the exact holster for the gun that you want. And I've yet to find one anywhere, even though it's listed in the catalog. 40s, that's not like new old stock for hundreds of dollars. I'm not spending that much money. Um, I don't really need the, the, the super duper level three retention feature. I stay in a good solid strap so the gun doesn't flop out. Most of the time when I do up and carry, it's low risk, it's lower area. I'm going to the dump. I might go to I might go to the grocery store. You know, I'm not really going in areas that I deem really scary. And open carry is an acceptable thing in North Carolina, believe it or not, with all cultures, at least the part I live in. So I'm just gonna swap this one for this one here. Not that it really matters for this one here. It already has the things in it. The clean back here. We're gonna try and make some adjustments with these screws here. To try to get this to fit a little tighter. We'll see how well it goes. Maybe it'll get somewhere. On the buttons, I've cleaned them the best I could. Might do another round with this button here. Excuse me if the camera, I'm sorry. I'm just getting a green out of there. So it doesn't, you know, with all the green crap, like it, that way it doesn't like transition onto the gun somehow. I just like to keep it clean, but this, I'm probably just gonna put this in the junk pile as an extra one. These have metal shanks in them, I think prevent like the holster from snapping i mean it's really strong i mean it reminds me of like um a corner of a shoe or arch support interesting it actually comes off all around i'm not going to show you how to draw from this holster um i don't feel comfortable doing that um only because um well police officers still carry this type of holster in some areas the police chief of the town i grew up in still carries a holster like this of course, there's a Glock inside of it, not a third gen, as there should be. If I was a police chief or older cop, I would um, I just carry an older gun. I wouldn't care, but it gets down to liability and what's issued to the department, state regulations and all that, especially in Massachusetts. Kind of neat. So you can make this into a single retention holster if you wanted to. Of course, you have this ugly screw hole in here. 
So I can see why the SLS series or um, ALS series is a much better option. Mainly because nowadays guns have lights on them and optics are different things for the police. But um, I end up taking these out of the old things. It didn't, the bolt hole match didn't, it didn't exactly line up 100%. There is a slight difference here. Cleaned all this, I adjusted this. Um, the gun is empty. And, and you don't see me, but the gun is pointing away from me towards a safe direction, which is nothing back here. Um, so, you have about half an inch there, which really isn't a big deal. I mean, you're not concealing this thing. Also acts as a bumper against the barrel being banged into things. The 5906 is four inch barrel. This is a 3.5 inch barrel, so it makes sense. Um, For its time, I, I'd say it's a pretty good retention holster, the um, 070 series, but with your um, triple retention and all that, you still gotta practice retention you know, by having your arm you know, like this, or facing away from a suspect. But um, for its time, it was all right. If I was a police officer, would I carry this today? Hmm. Probably. I mean, it still takes a lot to get this out. This isn't like sick of retention. Um, but it really isn't what I thought. You know, for the 90s and early 2000s, I mean, I think it was a step above. But today, pretty much it for this video. Um, we clean up back here really good. Um, well, let's see, there's big some belt adjustments here, but it does, it is much tighter, that's for sure.